my friends. We did not gather here to enjoy the scenic view. Gentlemen, aren't you tired of this waste of money? First, we spend millions to bring our candidates to the political forefront, and then we spend twice as much to ruin our competitors. Those are the rules. Do you want to install your own president? Do it. Come on, let us be honest with each other just for once. When somebody talks about honesty, that means they want to take off your last pair of pants. I'm not sure who said this, but he was truly a great man. Pasha Lazarenko. Andrei Neglevich, do you have any questions? I do, Mikhail Semenovich. The elections in a week. We worked very hard to back up our candidates. They're almost neck and neck. Now let the best man win. What good will that bring me? Rustam Mashotovich, it will prove to Mikhail Semenovich, to me, and to your own self. Who is the king of the castle here? Fair enough. Let the people of Ukraine decide who wins. Hmm. Unsupervised democracy? I like this kind of game. I haven't felt such a rush of adrenaline in a long time. Gentlemen, we should meet more often. Собаку. Я всего на свете член, почти что супермен, но редко лезу в драку. Знает весь двор, мой приговор, слуга народа. Почти все есть, достоинство и честь, и даже крики браву. Персональный самолет мне выделил народ, а что имею право на животу? Вот тут набью тату слуга народа. Hey, big guy, I've been meaning to ask you, who taught you to park like that? And I've been meaning to tell you, dead lost. How am I supposed to get out now? Should I fly over your techy car or what? That clunk is actually working. I thought bums sleep in it. Hey, punk, don't walk away. Morning, Igor Mikhailovich. Hey. What's going on? It's this crazy old timer who's blowing up. Move your damn car, you butthead. Get stuffed, old man. You're shameless. Don't you know who his dad is? I don't care who he is. Vasilich, don't look for trouble. Butter, your chief of housing services, do your job. When are you going to fix the slum of the yard? I filed complaints. It's not your concern. Where is our parking lot? I'm on it. Look where he parked, huh? How should I get out? Don't you see the road? How do I turn the car around? Come on now, call that dumbass. He has to remove his car. Oh. I need to leave in 30 minutes. Look, everything will be fine. Will it? Do you want me to spread my legs for the stalk? Chill out, Petya. Stalk my legs from the car. Calm down, Vasilis. Then move your car. That is it. I am calling the cops. Whatever. Good morning, neighbor. I'll switch your alarm off. That's loud. Oh. Dad, I asked you yesterday to wake me up at 6.30. And I asked you to take out the garbage. Which I asked you to do the day before. So we're even. 
Good morning. Thanks so much, Dad. You're welcome. All right. The shirt's wrinkled. Mom, please iron the shirt. I can't. My patients are waiting. And they have a whole class waiting for me. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> Natasha! Natasha, open the door. I'm in a hurry. Me too. I have a class to teach. And I've got college, Vasya. I'm your uncle, not Vasya. Make way for your uncle. This isn't a tram seat. <laughs> That's funny. Please, Mom, iron the shirt. You have the time. Sweetheart, one day when I retire, you can ask me anything you want. Mom, if the principal sees me in a wrinkled shirt, she'll fire me. Ah, oh, can't wait. Petya, come on, boys. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. What did I say? It's true. Unemployment benefits are higher than a teacher's salary. Your logic is strange, Dad. My logic is strange. You finish school, you go to college, and then you go back to school. Well, I'm sorry, Dad, for not becoming a cabbie, just like you. Your father is not a cabbie. Your father works in the service industry. Splendid. Then please mind the coffee. Thank you. Ah, oh, bless you. Oh, come on. Open the door. After all, it is your uncle who's asking. My uncle stopped asking things five years ago, son. Oh, sorry, Mom. <laughs> Natasha. I'm not Natasha. I'm your niece. My dear niece, please iron my shirt. You could have taken an iron and done it by now instead of asking. But where? In its place. Where is it? Here it is. Oh, Russia, I see the it. coffee's gonna boil over. Then just take it off. Beggars don't have servants. He won't take the coffee off. He won't, will he? <laughs> no, man. You didn't make it. It's not your lucky day today, Vasya. In fact, Vasya, do you know what day it is? It's Friday the 13th, I guess. The 13th, but not Friday. Oh, today's the faculty meeting. When he has woes, everyone knows. Today's your niece's birthday, you oaf. That's right. Bon appetit. Hi, and thanks. Natasha, happy birthday to you. I wish you happiness, health, love, and so forth. Um, I got you a gift. <laughs> An iron for you. <laughs> and you can call me Vasya. Our good old iron. The girls will die of envy. Okay, I'm off. And that's for me. I'll bring the other gifts tonight. No need. You've spent way too much on the iron. <laughs> Vasya. What? Come out. Can't I just have ten minutes of pure concentration? Really, Vasya, come out. They've come for you. Dad, that joke hasn't worked since the eighth grade. Vasya, dear, he's not joking. Please come out. You've got Mom to join in. Then let Natasha in on the joke. Actually, I'm here. What is it now? <laughs> Hello? Vasil Petrovich Halobrotko? Yes? Good morning, Mr. President. Finally, all the ballots have been counted at each polling station. With the results of 67% of the votes, the presidential race winner is Vasil Petrovich Holoborodko. It's sensational. For the first time, a simple teacher from Kiev has become Ukraine's head of state, Vasil Petrovich Holoborodko. For world leaders, the Ukrainian people's choice came as something of an unexpected surprise. Honestly, I hardly know anything about Vasil Holoborodko. Um, nevertheless, I hope that we'll find common ground with him. Holoborodko's victory was unexpected. We're shocked at the results. However, we respect the Ukrainian people's choice and recognize the election to have taken place in a democratic fashion. The president's office is receiving congratulations from around the world and... This is some uh, kind of, you know, weird joke. I, I feel like it's a practical joke. Based on preliminary opinion polls, I didn't even make the top ten. Uh, opinion polls can't measure the will of the people. Although, to be honest, I uh, don't fully understand how this could have happened. Mm hmm Well, they elected him. Rushevsky. Rushevsky. Mm-hmm. President. President? 
Mm-hmm. That's a myth. He headed the Central Council, that's all. Right, what else do you know of Ruszewski? Oh, there's also the street. <laughs> the streets, okay. Oh, he's on the 50 Rivnia bill. <laughs> Quite classy. The 50 Rivnia note, good, and a street, but for what service? Um, to the motherland? <laughs> <laughs> right. Lotov, for service to your motherland, we give you a solid D grade. Well done, you have earned your fifth D grade this year. Have a seat. Marchuk, please continue. Okay, okay. Please sit, sit down. down. Actually, no. Class stand up. Stand up. Go out to the yard all together. Hello, Petrovich. Yes, how are you? Okay, let's go. Move it. Chop, chop. Boys, nail together the voting booths, and girls, hang up the political platforms. Understand? Why the service yard? What is it? My class isn't over. Principal's orders. First year, the election is near. What election? Why did my students get chosen again? Why not class 10A? Class 10A has math class. So what? And I have history. Don't compare a dick to a finger. <laughs> class! 10B! B! I'm fed up. Petrovich, what's the big deal? I'm tired of this nonsense. Mathematics is valued as a science. That's all very fine. But history is dog as you said. Then we wonder why our politicians make the same mistakes when they enter the halls of power because they great mathematicians. All they know is how to divide others and to multiply what they have for Petrovich, themselves. I've never heard you talk <clears throat> like this. What gives? Got it? Because all these fix me up to here. Right? Now the force the kids to assemble the Booths. Why is it a hard knock life? Because our choice begins in a wooden voting booth. You know, and who is there to vote for? It's always a lesser of two ass, and it's been this way for 25 years. And you know what? Nothing is going to change. You know why? Because you, my dad, me, will vote for another stick. Yeah, because we all know that he's an ass. Why? But it's okay because the other one's worse. Last year, let's have a squig. I got a stash. Oh, and then these sh sticks enter government. Loot and sh then they talk more sh and they loot and swindle. Same sh different day. And no one gives a sh You don't, I don't, none of us do. We couldn't care less. No one gives two sh at all. And for that matter, no one. If I had one week in office, just one week, I would show them f the motorcades, f the perks, f the weekend chalets, f it all down for f sakes. Have a simple teacher live like a president and a president live like a simple teacher. I'm telling you this as a teacher of history, okay? But you don't give a flying f f bastards. However, not everyone acknowledges the election results. For instance, Zana Borisenko tweeted that the election was another circus. And Holoboruchkwa's closest competitor, Savior Party faction leader Serhi Karasuk, was the most loquacious. You call this a fair vote? <laughs> I tell you, it's throwing mud in the face of democracy. We are going to challenge the outcome of the election in court. Who is this Holoborodko? Who is he? Where did he come from? I was leading in all the polls and all the districts. For six months I've been traveling the country, speaking with voters. And what about Holoborodko? He cursed on YouTube and that's all. I don't believe it. Vasil Petrovich. I won the election. This isn't a tram call. From... All right, pardon me. But if it pleases Everybody you, it's okay. out there who can hear me, comrades, Tomorrow, we meet on the Maiden. Do you hear me? Tomorrow, on the Maiden. I still can't fathom what happened. I understand the soldiers came out of the blue, but please, try to focus and pull yourself together. Yeah, I'll try. Where are we going? We've got a full day ahead of us. Clothes fittings, some work on your personal image, a photo shoot, a meeting with journalists, a press conference, all that in just one day. Preferably before lunch. By the way, which do you like better, Patrick Philippe or Vacheron Constantin? Haven't read them. I've absolutely no time. Patrick Philippe, Vacheron Constantin, Briguet, Hublot. Do you know who wears this? No idea. Putin. He has a Hublot? Yes. But All for right. you. I recommend this. Only four of those in the world. Will you take one? Uh, uh, what well, do you I, think? Um, uh... Marsha, you like her? No, no, no. How could you? Wonderful. Now Cologne, Hermé, Donna, Karen, 
Ralph Lauren, Versace. Oh. <coughs> you know what I think? This will suit you, allow me. Okay, <laughs> one stop, stop, stop. Shall we move on to the shoes? So we have Bluti, Testoni, and Louis Vuitton. But I would recommend these. This will suit you quite well. They have arch support. And insoles? Naturally. We'll look at ties later on. Suits are the main thing. Kelvin Klein, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Dolce Gabbana, and Karl Lagerfeld. What do you say? Let's see this one. Okay, Carl. You stay, mate. Everyone else is free to go. The airplane will take you back. Not a bad choice. Think so? <laughs> Vasil Petrovich, what can I say? That suit fits you perfectly. Uh, are you sure? I'm certain. Thanks. It's enough powder for the president's nose. Please get ready for the shots. Which way? That way. Okay. <sighs> this, this way. way. Oh, this way. This way. Greet the head of state, Vasil Petrovich, on the marker and look into the lens. Uh, yes. So sorry, I'm. Uh... A few shots for the presidential credentials. No need to smile. Excellent. Now for the official sight, you can smile. Ah. Wonderful. For the official portraits, change your angle. Ah, do I smile for the portraits? It's up to you whether to smile or not. Superb. Well, since we're here, let's do a few thematic shots. Thinking about health care. How should I be thinking about health care? How can you when it's non-existent? Terrific. Now, talking with the working class. Uh, ooh, is this OK? Stand still. We're joking now. <laughs> Sorry. Once more. Nice. Caring about children. I think Come so. on, kiddies, uh, over here. Hi there. <laughs> Pick up the girl and hold her. Just like that. Is that yes. okay? Look into the lens mm -hmm. and smile. Beautiful. And for the youth segment, a Facebook selfie. Ooh. I'll be so bold as to take a little more of your precious time. As for history, sort of a mold of your right hand for the National Museum. Here you are. Perfect. Let's wash it. Mold of the left hand for the Museum of Palmistry. Wash it. The right foot for the soccer museum. Vasil Petrovich. Yes. And your profile for a collectible coin from the National Bank. I'm so sorry. Uh, well. Hey, what, what do you think, you think you're do? doing? Punch him in the nose. Why did you do yeah. that? Come on. Do this right. Yes. I'll help. take Fight you down. Him. Fight. You think you're cool? Fight him. Yes. I told you it's going to happen. Come yeah. on. Come on, Come on, you want to get right? peace What's this? going on, on here? Yes. What? Help me, what uh, is going uh, on here? Last settle down. Hey! Class 10B. Levchenko, what is with the rough stuff? Vasil Petrovich, it's Glowtop's fault. He posted the video online. Vasil Petrovich will no, get in trouble no, now. No, no, you put him at risk. That's enough. Oh, enough. Now stop. And you're not listening. Stop the mob mentality and take a seat. You're an yes, idiot. Be seated. All right. Come for you at break time. Quiet. Better watch your back. Something else. Watch your back. Silence, everyone. Okay. So who saw that video masterpiece? Thanks. Everyone but Glotov. I must congratulate you, Glotov. Your video, the story and lights it up, crashed the internet and is a box office hit. This is an apt occasion, class, to tell you a parable. Once upon a time, a poor peasant came to the shrine of the Japanese emperor. He said, your majesty, Taxes in our province are so high that people have nothing to eat. As for me, I have nothing to lose. So now I will tell you the truth. After that, he spewed a stream of expletives at the emperor, his family, his dominion, basically at everything that the emperor held dear. And his words made the samurai who guarded the emperor blush. The geishas fainted. The sakura by the entrance withered and never bore fruit again. The emperor listened to that calmly and silently, and then he issued two decrees. The first one was to rip out 
the peasant's tongue, for profanity is a sin. And the second decree was to reduce the taxes. Because the truth, whatever it may be, always remains the truth. I'm not trying to defend myself or what I did. I certainly shouldn't have done that. Man, I don't know. My dad said you were a knockout. And that if you were to run for president, he'd vote for you. Come on. And my, and folks. my folks. And my folks. And mine too. So would mine. Too. So, so would my parents. parents. Mine too. Mine, too. Yeah, mine, too. mine also. Mine yeah. no, As mine would mine. 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 Mine too. So yours too, Glotov. Yeah. So your folks also saw the video? Yes. yes. It appears so. so. What a mess. The only thing that gives me pleasure is that they agree. Forget it. Let's start the lesson. The principal wants to see you. Now. Here we go. It sounds like they're gonna pull out my tongue. But remember, you're still having a test on Wednesday. So, Vasil Patrovich, we have a press conference at 1 p.m. At 1300 hours on the 13th. You're not superstitious, are you? Oh, hell, the 13th, I totally forgot. Hey, don't worry. Here are the questions and here are your answers. It's not about questions or answers at all. I've got a faculty meeting at the school on the 13th. Then later today, I have to pay the interest on my loan. Let's settle all matters related to your loan right now, once and for all. Vasil Petrovich, where do you bank? No, I'm begging you. Don't call the bank. I'm embarrassed. Okay, then. Let me be clear on this. Time is precious, so let's do this another time. There's no next time. They charge 17 rivnias for each day of delay. 17? Yes. Mm, that's a different story. Tolia, take another route. made it before their lunch break. It won't take long. Ah, oh, look at the line. Guys, could you kindly let the president skip to the front? I'm so yes. ashamed. How come? We're all equal. Pretty, please. please. Come on, please. dear. Go ahead. I'll make up for it. Thank you. Is that who I think Sorry. Is he Hi, Lineshka. Lineshka has a day off. I'm covering for her. Let me introduce myself. Anatoly Borisovich Bagai. I'm the chairman of this bank. Please to... Oh, uh... Right, I'm here regarding my loan. Uh, would you please look up my name? Vasil Petrovich Holobroko? Vasil Petrovich, your loan has been fully paid off. There must be a mistake. I had at least seven payments left. The fact is, our bank has a yearly special event, and the winner of this event has all their debts written off. You are this year's winner. Not because I'm... Good heavens, no, Mr. President. It's a blind lottery draw. Really? Okay, well, that's really a nice surprise. Great, thank you. You're welcome. You. That's strange. Congratulations. Congratulations to you too. Goodbye, all. Come again? Absolutely. Goodbye. All right, officers. Thanks for the quick arrival. We serve the people of Ukraine. As for you, Captain Pilipchuk, next time, please, no independent action. Sorry, Yuri Ivanovich. I wanted to make it look real. Sure. There's no need to hurry. You're a president. You're never late. You just get held up. Easy for you to say. I'll rest her strict. She'll kill me. May I? Don't be shy. Mm. Hello. You sent for me, Raisa and Drivna? Yes, Vasil Petrovich, I did. First I called an ambulance. Then I called you. Vasil Petrovich, explain something to me. Why do you hate your school so much? On the contrary, I have to say, do I like you? it. Then could you explain to all of us 
Why would you cause such irreparable damage to your favorite school? But for pity's sake, choose your words carefully. There are women here. Oh, please. I think you're dramatizing it a little bit. Am I now? Hm. Teachers, doctors, engineers, paid people! We're getting f***ed for shit and copecas to make ends meet that f***ed up! Well, Resendrivna, first of all, that was a private conversation. So I believe the school's reputation will not suffer at all. And secondly, I was telling the truth. The truth? Who needs to know it? That bitter truth. The children? The faculty? Who? Rejoice! The education ministry called. Our school will undergo recertification. I trust that no one objects to me arranging a faculty meeting at the end of this semester to discuss your professional suitability. And as you can understand, it will be a pure formality. Lisa and Drivna, I don't think this is professional. End of discussion! We don't in care! Honestly, just listen! Just to make you shut the f up! To make you work your ass off! Godspeed. I'm very sorry for being late. No, no need to be sorry. You're right on time. It's my colleagues and I who came early today to get ready <laughs> and to congratulate you. You did. Thank you. Come forward, ladies. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll save that for it's later. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Our dearly respected. Our dearly respected. Mm -hmm. Vasil Petrovich. It's truly a deep honor for us to work with you at the same school. I realize I scolded you at times, <laughs> but I never bore you any ill will. It's just that I always sensed you had great potential, and I wanted to push you a little to help you release that potential. And as you can see, I wasn't mistaken. That pushing helped it. I mean, your potential. Oh, dear me. Oh, why am I so flustered? <laughs> to express everything that we want to tell you, we'll sing you a song. Vasil Petrovich! Vasil Petrovich! Vasil Petrovich! Congratulations, Vasil! Hey guys, don't Vasil worry. Petrovich. Let them pass. That's my class, 10B. Vasil Petrovich! Vasil Petrovich! Vasil Petrovich. Vasil Petrovich. Vasil Petrovich. Vasil Petrovich. Congratulations! Thanks. You all look great. Vasil Petrovich! Thanks. Glotov, don't forget, you've got a physics test today. I took it. Really? Yeah, when the physics teacher found out who you are, the whole class got an A. <laughs> Don't listen to him, he's kidding. We are on top of things. This class is aiming for straight A's. You know, we all have to match your status now. So when will 10 BC improvements? <laughs> <laughs> improvements, Marchuk. A uh, president's test awaits you on Wednesday. <laughs> Pardon me, Mr. President, for interrupting this idyllic moment, but we must go. Right, my apologies. All the best. At least, let's take a picture. Uh, yes, please. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Ivanovich, would you please? <clears throat> okay, ready? Take this. Well, say history. History! history! Thank you, Valusia. Thank you. This also came as a shock to us. No, I never doubted Vasya. It's all in the genes, yeah? Uh, uh, what? You're Kirill. Don't worry, we'll find a place for Kirill. Where does he work? Ah, he's unemployed. <laughs> then we'll make him the head of, of the uh, labor office. Ah, uh, sure. Okay, Valyusha. Later, love you. Listen, do you remember a Valyusha from Kremenchu? Nope. <laughs> you remember nothing. Petya, two hours ago I asked you to buy peas and you forgot. It's a child's godfather. <laughs> Hello, Yura. Thanks very much, friend. Thank you. What? What's that? 
First deputy minister? <laughs> I'll make you a minister. <laughs> sure. And Veronica, we look everybody up with a job. Okay? Okay then. Bye bye. <laughs> enough, 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 Petya. You've appointed half of Ukraine. Now just go and buy the peas. I don't eat peas in salads. The whole world does, but not you. I'll just keep yours separate. Now go, go. Fine, I'm going. Oh. <laughs> yes. Look, I recognize your voice, Luba. Petya went to the store. Oh, come on, stop. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Get Vitalian. The Mohila Academy. You know, I don't think Vasya will say no to his second cousin. Bye. Greetings. Hello. Good afternoon, Petro Vasilyevich. What's with this sudden renovation? It's springtime. The annual repairs. So for ten years, spring bypassed us, but now it's here. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Petro Vasilovich, sir. I came because of this morning's incident. Ah, so Pilipenko did file a police report? Who? No way. Mikola Pavlovich is on your side. That's right, Vasilovich. Do you have a complaint for the owner of the SUV? Maybe you would like to receive compensation for uh, emotional distress? Uh, here's a pen and paper for the report. What do I need that for? Let him be. But his bathtub should stay out of the driveway. It will. I promise. The culprit has moved out of your house. And from this day forward, you can park anywhere you want to. Well, carry on. I'm sorry, sir. Get used to it, Vasil Petrovich. You've been granted an entirely new life. Yeah, right. One could say that it's your second birthday. Oh, wait. I forgot it is my niece's birthday today. Yuri Ivanovich, if possible, let's buy her a gift. No, the press conference has been delayed twice. Please, I'm on my knees. Fine. What do you have in mind? Uh, I don't know what the girls like. A cake? Uh, uh, she likes Dizio. Maybe we could buy her a CD. What? Dizio. Dizio? Dizio. Tolia, get a cake and a CD by Dizio. Who? Dizio! So, uh, what about Vasil Petrovich? Learn your answers. Dear journalists, we'll begin the press conference with Ukraine President Vasil Petrovich Holobarotko. You please. Uh, Daria Rupina here from TSN. Mr. President, please tell us. We at TSN would like to know, do you plan to stimulate the country's economy by raising venture investment? Thank you. Thank you, Daria. Uh, now, as you know, um, <clears throat> the dynamics of the investment market requires a comprehensive application of the tools we possess in order to encourage foreign financial... Indeed. Our country truly likes cheap populism. Mikhail Semenovich. Nice work. I had nothing to do with this. Oh, please. We're all well aware that this is your guy. No. I was certain that you were actually backing Holoborodko. I see. If he's not yours, then he's got to be Rustam Ashotovich's man. Gentlemen, I swear. I've had nothing whatsoever to do with Holoborodko. Then who has? In other words, a man ascended to the presidency who isn't under the control of any of us? That's rich. One of us is hiding something. Perhaps he's a puppet from the West? Or the Kremlin? Krivitsky, I need to know everything about this Holoborodko. We'll... handle it. Your question. Thank you. Yuri Kushnir, uh, time you weigh. Winter is right around the corner, as is the heating season. Which energy efficiency technologies are a priority for the housing services? Will it be devolving heat supply or using geothermal heat pumps? 
DAX. When handling this, 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 this issue, we'll take into consideration the specifics of the regional, local, I mean, Dear journalists, I sincerely apologize. I am not prepared uh, for this press conference. Mm, it's difficult to respond to questions that, that I'm not ready for. So can we all come to an agreement? I will do my homework and you'll let me retake this test. I mean, <coughs> an another press conference. <laughs> Okay? Be because honestly, I don't even know some of the meanings of the terms being used. Well, it figures. The campaign video definitely showed a different vocabulary. Young lady, it's not your turn yeah, now. Yeah, nothing changes. The floor is given to those with pre-scripted questions, huh? That's not true. I believe we have freedom of speech in this country. So if you'd like to pose a question, please feel free. What? Really? Uh, Yana Klimenka, Transparent Government Magazine. Where did a plain history teacher get two million to register his candidacy? Next question, please. No, no, no. There's no need. My dear Yana Klamenko, I'll answer that question with ease, hands down. That's all. The lesson is over. If you have any questions, ask them. Vasil Petrovich. Yes? So when will you register? Register for what, Glotov? You know what? The election board for president. Enough already. You had a laugh. I also had a great laugh. We all had a good time. Five million people Not had five, a laugh. Not five, eight. They're all for you. Did you read the comments? Livchenko, I didn't bother to read the comments. Also, what will the outcome be? A common person can't become the president. Why not? Firstly, to register with the election board, one must deposit two million rivnias. Where does a teacher get so much money? Sure. But you know about crowdfunding, right? What? We started raising funds online. Every little bit helps. And by now, you have about two million in the account. It's two million and eight rivnias. <laughs> Class is over. Class is over. You're free to go. Vasil Petrovich, you gave her a good rap on the knuckles. Crowdfunding. Nice word, I should remember that. Trust an old political veteran, and you'll go far in this game. But honestly, between us, where's the cash from? It's true, from crowdfunding. If you don't want to say, you don't have to. Vasil Petrovich, the people raised this money. You can give it to the election board, or buy an apartment, or just burn it. It's completely up to you. I can't, buy I can't now. take... <sighs> Good heavens, children. No freaking way. Mother, I told you your son's no teacher. He's either a drug dealer or he sells organs, or maybe both. Tolia, where's the cake and the CD? What? What do you mean there's no CD? They couldn't get it? Don't worry about it. Oh, I'll just give us some money, that's all. Hi guys, how's everyone? Wow, it looks really appetizing. My apologies, I was held up at work. Dad, the yard's changed. It's spring. It is spring. What's wrong? All yes. right, that's it. sit. <laughs> okay. Why are you silent? How was your day? All right. All the relatives congratulated you. Your ex-wife and your son called to say hello. No one could reach you all day. Why don't you say happy birthday? Oh, sure. Poor <clears throat> a, a little bit. Thanks. Some wine for you? Yes. Well, 
Mother, give a toast. <coughs> My dear Vasya. Mom, it is not for me. The president's mom is speaking. Indeed. Natasha has a birthday every year. Who needs this anyway? It's only my 18th birthday. Please go on, Grandma. Now then, Vasya. We're very happy for you. You did it. <laughs> to you, Vasya. Thank you. To you. To you. Thank you. But overall, how was your first day at work? It flew right by. I didn't even notice. I didn't notice the first shot either. <laughs> Another round then? Just half. Okay. And wine for you? <sighs> it's my turn. Of course. <laughs> my dear granddaughter, you are extremely lucky to have such an uncle. Daddy. Don't interrupt. The president's there. <laughs> I never thought I would say this. I'm very proud of you, son. Yeah, thank you. To you, Vasya. Uh, okay. And to you, Natasha. Thanks. Thank you. Good evening. Sorry I didn't ring the bell. The door was open. Dear Natalia, on behalf of Ukraine's president, we wish you a happy birthday. We couldn't find a Dizio CD, so we wriggled out the best way we could. Happy birthday! Я не вірю в любов, та це пануло мене. Я люблю, коли сплю, я від 